This episode is all about the king, Elvis Presley the legend. One of the most popular pictures of Elvis became the foundation for today's composition, Imaginary Plane Battle. I hope you like it. Today's Elvis Presley, an icon, a legend, um, the best, I'll leave it up to you, but yeah, today we will we'll be working on something based on this Elvis, uh, Elvis's um, image, um, I believe is one of the most popular, most famous, so um, without any unnecessary explanation and introduction let let's start to work on that image i apply a piece of tracing paper of course we're not copying that image an image is just an inspiration it's just a starting point to what we would like to end up with so um as always let's focus on the main feature of the face um, a balance between dark and light, you know, dark and light, dark and light, and so on. So, <clears throat> let me just try to capture <clears throat> what's the most intriguing, interesting for me. Of course, eyes, nose, lips, maybe a, a trace of the profile, um, and of course, Elvis's hair. Do, uh, a very characteristic, very distinguishing feature of his personality. So yeah, let's just roughly capture what's going on here. Ear, I think I don't care much about it, an ear, but this is something that, um, yeah, so let's have, we have this, let's quickly trace the profile um, there you go a nose line and uh, continuing going down the face oops uh, yeah the chin and uh, I don't care much about this area <coughs> at that point I want to build it up based on the face so yeah it's eyebrows and that's this eyes eyebrows uh, here's what's going on here okay an eye uh, okay that's his I believe right eye and uh, very characteristic lips so here we go of course you can mark up yeah that this is dark this is dark that's dark that's dark of course the eyebrows are darker than anything else um, and I and hair that's pretty pretty much self-explanatory so I don't have to spend too much time on filling it out with dark but yeah uh, this is basically what we need so at that point I can remove uh, the source picture from underneath and off we go and we will start working on our today's image um, yeah so Thank you very much, Elvis. I'll keep you up there as a reference. And this is what I ended up with after this quick sort of uh, sketch based on the actual image. So at that point, it's all up to us. It's all up to me, I guess. But I will try to explain you how to convert this image 
into a scene, into an imaginary scene. Um, in this case, I will be trying to base it on the airplanes, airplanes from uh, past eras. Uh, there is not much connection between them. I'll be using airplanes from like 70 years ago and 90 years ago and maybe 60 years ago and I don't really care. All I care about is to create a scene that will portray Elvis. So something that's going on but in the end when you look at the image from a, a certain distance you will say wow that's Elvis. Okay so uh, let's start working on finding these items sort of like so um what, what what i would like to start with is um a certain directions right you have like this line that line you have eyebrows line nose line lip eye um a profile right so this leads you into a different direction but what motivates me to turn it into um, a sort of like a air battle scenery is this this and that uh, remember all these airplanes sort of like you know two wings um, something like that looking like so I thought I, I can utilize the eyebrows and that portion here and uh, turn it into a some sort of a, an older kind of style plane you know something like that it's a very rough I'm just throwing I'm just throwing um, out my ideas onto the paper this is just a rough sketch I'm not going into any details at that point um, so a line nose that's another line like that when I can sort of like build something looking like an airplane right um, a lip eye hmm what I would like to do is I mean it's a bottle so some play win, uh, thumbs up, I don't know how to do it, and some plays don't win. So this is a fallen plane. I'll use it as a, like a smoke and the plane going kind of down. Okay, so we have this plane and um, following the 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 um, uh, a profile of the face line I think I'll utilize this and I do the airplane yeah, look of course wheels an airplane going like from that way right so here we go we have a falling down airplane shut down hopefully the, uh, the pilot will be you know going down so, yeah I've survived hooray I'm okay so yeah we have this we have that airplane that airplane I think I will turn it into the red Byron's airplane a red Byron had like three layers, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, he was famous, he was unbeatable until just like any other airplane pilot until shut down. Anyways, in this area, what I like to do is there's a lot of directions this way, that way, that way, that way, that way. So I think I'm gonna build a balloon, a balloon, a balloon, of course a balloon is not a part of, now it looks like a binocular, but whatever, a balloon is not part of the serious airplane bottle, but this is imaginary drawing, 
this is something they create and uh, of course red byron you know was way behind that kind of airplanes you know propellers and stuff but anyways so let's assume that this is gonna be some sort of a balloon let's say a newspaper reporters in a balloon capturing all the moments of the battle anyways <clears throat> that's the rest of the stuff and um, in these dark areas basically that's an awesome opportunity to add up items that don't have to fall into any shape and uh, in this case we can you know build up the um, the scene with something that doesn't have to fit into anything right so I can create an, an airplane here an airplane sort of like bigger airplane sitting here and uh, kind of complement everything that's going on here and there and everywhere I think I use the bottom of the chin for another plane and uh, maybe just to to make this scene looking more realistic the bottom here will be sort of like an like a, a second world war or whatever war or and a military airport right so we can kind of add anything we want there's nothing here so it's totally up to us we can make a a big airplane sitting here and uh, yeah with the wings so I think I will try to follow that path you know the air or maybe another fallen airplane maybe some other stuff like that but we'll be adding a little airplane here just to fit into that kind of characteristic um, sideburn Elvis's sideburn but at that point you see it's it becoming a sort of like a, a very dynamic action field um, a scenery but still when working on that image I want to uh, I want to keep um, keep it looking like Elvis so whatever I do as much as I want to focus on all these uh, <clears throat> elements I still have to keep in mind that my image is based on that so I think the conceptual you know part is kind of finished I will try to transfer my ideas onto the new piece of paper and off we go you'll see me you will witness me creating uh, a portrait of Elvis based on the plane battle
Thank you.